had for several months. Look, I got them at the thrift store for a dollar. These poker chips. They had a huge box of boxes of poker chips. I'm going, well, I'll buy one and see what I can do. And they sat around and sat around and sat around. But I haven't been able to use them. And so today I was thinking, I wonder if I could take my crop dial and punch a hole through them and a little journal charm out of them. So I've been experimenting. I will come back to this. I've been experimenting with my crop dial. You have to go fairly easy on these because they are plastic. And if you don't punch them right, they will split. And you see I split this one here. So that's just a reject. All these others are good. And I've found that if I punch a hole in them, I try to punch it in the thinnest part of the poker chip. And I am using my crop -a dial I was hoping that it would actually punch through it. And it does. I always aim it down and away from me. I do have my eyeglasses on. But if you do something like this, be sure that you wear safety goggles. Because you don't want one of those little pieces coming in and flying up in your eye. That would hurt. So there you go. So I am going to make enough of these to give away in my live session tonight. I'm going to finish punching these up. And then I'll come back and show you the next step. I have all the little holes punched here. My next step is I want to put some color on these. These are all white. I'm trying to make them as similar as possible. So everybody gets something that looks like the other. So there's no special goings on in here. See, I broke this one. Maybe I'll put that in my journal that way. Like, I'm broke. <laughs> The next thing I want to do is put some color on this. Now, I have some PEBCO paints, and I'm pretty sure that this came in the Happy Mail that Deb Mail sent to me. I'm not positive because I get a lot of different Happy Mails, but I think my mouth dropped open when she sent these to me. If it wasn't Deb, I thank you to whoever who sent them to me because, look, I've got two, two packages of them. Now, this is Black Onyx, and if you can see here, I'm not sure, but you can see that it is pearlized. There is a pearl color in there, and I stirred it up, and there, this is a black paint, but after I stirred it up, it comes out looking very pearl. So I really don't want that on the base of this because it'll blend in too much. I want I want a color that pops. So I went back through the boxes here. I've got plenty of colors to choose from. Thank you, thank you. And I chose this teal color. And just shaking it like this, I don't know. You know, the, the paints themselves may be older. I don't know how old these are because they were sent to me in Happy Mail. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to open it and actually stir it. Let's just do a little stirring of this. And I want to stir it enough that that pearlized that fell to the bottom will get mixed up into the paint. And I did that with that black onyx. And that was good. So I do think that this is going to, it does settle down into the bottom. But even if it is not completely pearlized, it's enough. It is enough. Now I'm just going to kind of brush off my, I have no idea how long it takes for these to dry. They dry on the paper pretty fast. I'm hoping that they dry on the chips pretty fast so I can give them away. <laughs> Look, it isn't that pretty. Isn't that pretty? Now that's a blend of two colors. 
but I'm just going to swish it across with my paintbrush and I'm just going to swish some paint across here and I'm not meaning for it to be anything really smooth and beautiful and pretty I just want it to look like like paint and I might need a, more of a brush on this let's see if I can find another brush let's dab some Woo. it's stringy Let's just dab some paint on here. And here again, like I say, this is just a little splash of color. This is not meant to be anything perfecto. This is just meant to be something that hangs off of your journal, hangs off of a journal page. It's a poker chip. Maybe I'll move this. So I'm going to go ahead and finish painting these, and then I'll come back at the next step. This is where I am at on this. Look at this. These are those P-E-B-O paints that were sent to me in Happy Mail. I did the teal color, but I could not stop at teal. I had to go to red, gold, purple. Isn't that pretty? Now... Since these are poker chips and I am making art journal charms, I think I'm going to have to give this a lot of dry time. You can see it's still shiny, so it's still wet. But what I want to do is glue a penny on each one. Now, I've poked a hole in here with my crop -a dial I want to take some of this eyelash yarn that I have to make the little hanger. And I'm using this specifically so if the person who wins it in the giveaway doesn't want it, they can just take a scissors and cut it off and maybe put a chain or a string, something else that they want on there. So, But I was debating, do I put the penny on first and offset it and let that little hole be accessible? Or do I put the eyelash yarn hanger on there and glue my penny down in the center? And I decided to glue the penny down first because if somebody wanted to clip away that yarn, the penny would be still holding on to what was in there. So that's what I'm going to do next. I have some E6000 and I'll do one here and then I'll go off camera and do the rest of them. I have some E6000 that I'm going to glue down the penny, and I'm going to offset it. Now, some of these pennies are nice and shiny, and some of them aren't. It just depends. That's the way money is. So, let's see. Let's put this one. If they're hanging it, this will be up. So, I'm going to put this penny right down in here, and I'm going to glue it down with E6000. Now, this glue, it kind of glops on there, but since the paint is, is in swirls anyway, it does not bother me that there may be a, a glob of glue showing through. But I'm just going to drop this penny right on here like that. And I'm going to set it aside and let it dry. I'm going to go do the rest of them, and then I'll come back and show you where I'm at. I have finished off a couple of these because I want to show you the final result. I used eyelash yarn to loop through and then I have two little danglies here on the side. Now these are still very, very wet. I want these all to dry. I am going to use some masking tape and tape these to the sheet of, actually this is watercolor paper that I've been using for drop paper, and I'm going to set them aside to let them dry completely before I do something like this. I wanted to make hangers for these because I want to show what they look like in the end. Now I am going to show you how I do this. 
One reason that I am using this eyelash yarn, other than the fact that I got it at the thrift store for a little of nothing, is the fact that whoever gets these in my giveaway can easily clip it off if they don't want it and, and use their own type of hanger or do whatever they want with it. But what I do is I take a length of it and I double it in half and I would say that you probably need a good two feet, but allow yourself plenty. Maybe not quite two feet, maybe about 18 inches, something like that. Just I eyeball it. Do not clip it in half. See, I have this loop here, and then I have the ends here are open. I've doubled it over. It does not have to be even. Whatever, whatever you want is fine. Then I take it, now be aware that what I'm going to use here, these chips are very wet. So I'm going to let them dry. It'll be a lot easier to do this when they are dry. So you, you might see me struggle a bit on this one, but I, I take, it's eyelash yarn, so it's, it's very stringy down here. So I kind of try to twist it enough to get it through that center hole. Let me show you this again. This is an 18 inch, approximately 18 inch length of eyelash yarn. I got it at the thrift store. I double it in half. So I've got two loose ends here and I've got the loop down here. Do not clip this. This will be your hanger. Then I double it in half again and I take this loop and now I've got more thread down here than what I thought, <laughs> than what I expected. <laughs> and I, I kind of twist those, those loose threads together because what I want to do is I want to thread it through the hole that I punched on the poker chip. Now, this is very wet, so it's kind of hard to handle. I'm going to wait for those others to dry before I do it, but I'm doing this for demonstration purposes. And then I take my little pokey tool and poke it through the best I can. You kind of have to work with this. Just poke it through, grab it as best that you can on the back and pull it through. Then... I pull it through a good length so that I have enough down here to work on. I take these four threads. There's a loop down here. and You take the loose ones and you pull them back through this loop here. So it's just like you would do if you were doing a tag. Only it's a little bit harder with this eyelash yarn because there's so many threads. But it's so pretty once you get it finished. Just pull it through and pull it tight. Just pull it through this way. Now you have, when you do that, let's pull it again. You have the loopy side here. You also have two threads hanging down here. And these form like a little tassel. So there it is. So now I have three of them. <laughs> I'm just going to set them aside and let them dry. I like to use the things that are sent to me in Happy Mail. That P-E-B-O paint that I used on this was sent to me by some generous person in happy mail and this is just an opportunity for me to make something and pass it along now i do like to give these smaller things away in my live sessions because it is a way for me to thank people who come to my friday night lives and i just have so much fun doing it and it's an opportunity to pass along some of the happy mail that i get so i will put a picture of this at the end of the video so you can see it a little closer these are my poker chip journal charms. Thank you for watching, and I will see you on the next page.